Hey YouTube, we are back again. This is November 11th, which means yesterday was November 10th. Um, foundations on, brows are done. We're gonna put on pumpkin pie chapstick. Um, my roommate may be in today's video, I don't know. She intentionally stayed in the, rush, in the bathroom yesterday. So I'm like, I told you. She's like, I don't wanna disturb you. I'm like, it's not a disturbance. So she says she'll come make faces in my video. I'm like, fine. So, what we're using today, which I didn't realize, I knew I was using the Berlin Underground Palette from Nomad Cosmetics. And so I'm looking at my notes to pull out brushes that I need to use. And I saw that we're using a couple of shades from the Xenon Palette again. So I'm just like, really? So I was, <laughs> as usual, surprised at myself. Like, what am I doing? I wrote it down, so we're going to do it. Um, so these are what they look like together. Hopefully there's no glares. And so... We're gonna see. I think we're only using two shades from the Natasha palette. Um, so yeah, so let's just get started. We're gonna prime the eye and I'll do the intro. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. <laughs> so um, I call this channel the Crazy Show Nation of YouTube. Cause I'm feeling crazy right now. This mirror down here, I'm gonna have to prop it up again on something. Cause. The Crazy Jewel Nation, we do videos even if we aren't sure of how they're going to come out looking as far as lighting or the look. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're going to find out what it's going to look like. I'm excited to use the um, Berlin Underground Palette again. It's been a while. This is look number five with this palette. This is a somewhat fresh one. Um, the one I had before did turn. And Nomad shadows do tend to turn on me, and I think it's whatever oils that they put in there. This one, I forget what oil is in it. But anyway, Crazy Troll, Crazy Troll Nation, enjoying doing videos if you do them, enjoying the channels you watch, knowing it's okay if you do videos to be yourself and then let your personality shine through and not pretending to be something or someone that you're not. That's the crazy part, because it's like, what? You doing videos the way you be acting? Y'all see how I be acting. So, <laughs> the troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. You set the standard for yourself. Try not to feel like you need to use a certain brand or a certain tool or a certain technique. Use whatever you want to, however you want to, to get your makeup on in a way that you are satisfied with it because you set the standard for yourself. And because here, as a crazy troll nation, we are about self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features Enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never feeling like you have to. Love yourself for who you are and for how you look, even without face paint on. That's the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. Oh, yeah, I'm still like, where am I? What am I? Where? What am I doing? And where am I putting stuff? I need to let you know if you're new here. I do curse sometimes because in my videos, because I do just curse sometimes. Period. I try to catch myself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This eye is leaky already, and usually my eyes are a little leaky when I first wake up. Um, so hopefully it does already look like it's lifting my foundation. So if we may put more on later or, or not, I don't know. I am going to wear my contacts today because I don't have any notes that I need to read. Um, I am... Uh, let me just get started. This is already annoying me. It already lifted my foundation over there. Um... I think I'm a part of like three different classes today. This is gonna be a long day. Our day starts at 7.30 at breakfast, which means getting up before that. And it ends around 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. So this is a long day. I'm not gonna name some of the shades because I have trouble pronouncing them. We're gonna take this shade here at the bottom. And this is gonna go on the first half of the lid. And I'm thinking like, no, we're not even topping. Okay, so we're going to press. I really like this palette because for me, it is, it's like a light grunge. Um, and I, I love how the shadows perform. The majority of this palette are, they're not, well, kind of like satins. And there's only two that look to be matte, maybe three or four. But this whole palette is mostly shimmer. And even this black looks like it has shimmer in it. You see those little sparkles. So it's an interesting palette. I do like the color story. I like the looks that I've done with it. And I do have a Nomad Cosmetics playlist. If you want to see the other looks that I've done with this palette, just look for Nomad Burrow and Underground. 
Um, and you'll see the other looks that I did with this palette. All of them are light because it is a light palette, but because it has that grunge drive to it for me, to my eye, I do like the looks I did. And I had this before, bef I had this before, before I leaned into my aesthetic of the messy grunge, um, throwing a little punk in here and there. Um, and so even when I started leaning into it, I was surprised that, you know, I really still like this palette. And me wiping it is actually wiping foundation too. Um, this teariness under here. So we may hit more later. We'll, we'll see what happens because after we do lower lash line and everything, it might be okay. Well, either way is okay, but don't know what I mean. So we're going to take, um, I think we only have two more palettes to use to have used up all the palettes that I brung. And now we're going to take this shade for the second half of our, our lid. Our formal dinner is tonight. And so looking at this, this look definitely isn't going to match because I brought a burgundy top. Well, actually like a berry color blouse to wear. This, but I think it'll be neutral enough where it'll still look right without matching. And if it doesn't, y'all know I don't care because <laughs> I don't like to match anyway. We do have an outer V shade. And so that'll give us some depth. I may end up doing outer corner, not sure. I'm excited. Um, well, first, I'm like, kind of amazing myself, my commitment to getting up earlier than I would if I wasn't doing these looks. And I know when I get back home, once I get back to my regular schedule, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different. And the internet here, um, the videos, you see, you see the length of the videos while I'm here, they're uploading in like a few hours. And so I just set it and then I go to another class or something. But it tells me right away, you know, two hours, which still is a lot to some of you because some, some places, you know, stuff uploads in like 30 minutes. And so it's new for me to just stuff the upload and I'm done with it. And I don't gotta keep checking it, you know, up to 12 hours, 14 hours. And so that's, I'm liking that aspect just having it done in a day versus what brush do I have for Aloe V? Now we're going to take the black shade, this one. This is Club Note, I do know that. Um, and just having stuff done. So we're going to do the V first like we did before. And there is a mirror in, in the palette, of course, but that's what I'm using right now. And actually the shape, I mean, uh, my view is a little better. I did not want to do that, but we're going to, shit. We're going to clean that up right now. And there's a gap there and that is okay. I mean, we've seen worse on this channel, have we not? So, trying to see where the V starts, but we are going to blend we're going to come straight over and then straight in. I think, well, I say right now, I think I'm going to do, that's still not a V. That's how this one looked. And then I bring it like that. But it's still not looking right. I don't know if that's quite a V. But we're going to drag this over. And this is traveling, so it's nice. These shades, they just work for me. This palette, uh, it's really going. It's still going. <laughs> I want to get it to come to a point. This is somewhat tapered, but it's not really pointed. But this side, you know, feathered in. And actually, this side looks thicker. But anyway, I, th I think I just told you I'm going to put contacts in today yeah I did because I'm not I don't have notes to read today I'm not liking how dark it is all the way over but since we did that side we're going to do this side too but I think we're gonna go back with that first lid shade 
and put put that up there. This is not looking blended. So we're just going back and forth on the lines. Blended. See what I just said? Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 We did not add shadow on the brush. We're just blending. And this is making a line thicker than I want. But I'm digging it. We're going to feather inward. So this might turn into an outer corner. But if the V is still here... It's still a V, even if we fill in. So let's just fill in just a little bit. Oh yeah. This is nice. So we're filling in just a little bit. I like that. This eye. I think I'm gonna just leave it till I'm done the eye look. <laughs> and then put a little bit more foundation in there. Don't this one start. Don't do it, don't do it. Um, the first shade, this one down here, we're going to go into that again, and we're going to tap on the line of that black shade, because I really didn't want this this dark, and I really did want a thin line like we did before, and we're going to, oh shoot, we're also going to bring it up here because I do think the black will still break up the line. Oh shit. <laughs> um, I need to do something else there. Do we have a brow? We have a brow bone shade. Um, I like it. It's not what I wanted. Um, I like how this is toning down that black, but you can still see a hint of it. I do like what this is doing, this part right here. This will grow on me. And because it's so shimmery all the way up, my puffiness is protruding. It's looking brighter. So that's what I'm like. But I do like how it looks though. But I do want to put... I'm wondering if this will work. I didn't intend to do this right now and I'm just trying things. We're going to take this brush and we're going to just take a little bit of this and we're going to go lightly. Over. Under my brow. And we're just tapping because I don't want it to be dark but I just want it to be lighter than it is. And it worked and the only thing now I'm noticing is that this top edge of the black does not look blended. And I know we left it that way intentionally before um, in the outer V, we left it harsh on purpose. Well, that's what intentionally is. Um, but I'm not quite liking how that's not looking blended. So we're going to take, this is a clean one, and we're going to blend on the line from where that last shade we put under brow bone and that black just to see. And it's not harsh, but you can, I mean, it does look blended because it's not like a stark black, but how this line is just <laughs> right there where this one is more rounded. And I'm not going to add much shadow. So like whatever we have is what it's going to be because I don't want it to be darker, even though we could. And of course we can. We can do whatever we want to do. But I'm just not liking the shape right here. And actually I do think, no, I'm gonna go back. I'm not adding any more shadow to the brush. This is a brush that had this on it. We're going to tap on the top line of that shade. Yeah, that did it. So it's not that sharp line. Now it is more rounded like how this side is. Okay, so that was a good thing. I'm not gonna ask if y'all finagle, finagle, finagle y'all looks because some of you told me that you do. This is the brush that had this shade on it. And so we're gonna leave this like this, I say, as I keep blending it over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Now we're going to take Snurt from the Xenon palette. And we have this for Brow Bone. I'm not sure 
it's going to do anything. This is Snurt right here. And so we have a um, this brush for that. And that's just going to go, uh-oh, right there. You know what? This shade goes nice with Berlin Underground. Shit, stuck it in the wrong shadow. Did I, I don't see I only want, I only brought one of those, brought one of those with me. Here's the second one. But this, this shade goes nice with the Berlin Underground vibe. Even just thinking about the palette as a whole. So, yeah, it makes sense I would, um... <laughs> pair that with this I like this I like this better I like this better we're gonna go back to the brush that had that orangey shade from Berlin Underground and we're just gonna fill it over we did not add more of that shadow onto the brush okay this is what we got um, now we're going to oh, lower lash line shit um, I need to, all right, we're going to do that and then see what happens under here. I, shit. Actually, we're going to take Love Parade first. That's this shade. And we're going to put that lower lash line that can go there. We're, we're going to blow it out with this because then we're going to put a, um, another shade under there. We, I've rotated through, I think we have, for some reason, um, because we had five blushes, we did two looks on the 8th, a look on the 9th, 10th, and then today. So yeah, so this will be the last of the blushes we'll have used. I'm going to start over here because the inside is wet. So we have used all of our blushes. Um, oh, lower lash line. I have NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Deep Purple because I've been rotating my eyeliners as well. And my inner rims, we use Sephora. Let me put it where I can read it, turn it around. 12 Hour Retractable Eyeliner and the shade is 14, Shimmer Khaki Green. And even though that's nothing to do with the look, we're rotating through our eyeliners as well because I brung so many of them. I'm like, this is redonkulous. Like, I, um, yeah, we're going to use them. I had out my black fluid line to use. No, dip down fluid line to use. But in my notes, I have used black mirror. And so I'm wondering, I don't even remember if we used dip down already. I kind of think we did because I only brought with me, I don't even remember how many gel liners, rubber lash line I brought with me. But for some reason, I think I didn't use the, the brown yet. And so we were going to do the brown today, and I still could because the lid is light enough. The lid shades are light enough where it would show up. But looking at my notes, I did take out Black Mirror, which is the black one. But I think we may still just do the brown. Um, because for some reason, I think we didn't use it yet. And so we're rotating through everything. That looks like, that don't look right. But you know, by the time we get done, this this is down too far. And it's because it's wet, it's too far. Like this side I like. So we're gonna just bring this side down too. And make it look intentional. Huh. And there's not like a um a shade to put under here to like buff it out and tone it down. Not that it's bright, but just how the color looks. Now we're gonna go back into Natasha Denona palette, the Xenon. And we're going to take Sposh, this shade in the middle, also for lower lash line. And this is a, a, a stubby smudger brush. And so we're just wiggling this in. And we're just going to press it right up against the lower lash line. I'm not going to do the inside yet. This is still... I am going to put more foundation under here. I woke up at 5.25, my alarm was set for 5.30, and I sat down to do the look at 5 after 6. And so I am still very much half sweet. <laughs> and so that's why I'm like amazing myself. Just wake up, do a video, and I'm like, oh, girl, I'm tired. But we're here. 
I think I'm going to do the brown and it will add to the differentness of how the look is looking. This is. I may take an eyeliner with me just to touch up under here because that this liner is going to disappear the same way my foundation did under there. For right now though, we're gonna take another blending brush. Actually this brush. And we're just gonna buff for no other reason than just to buff. And that's gonna drag it down even further. This is making me second guess. This is so wet right here. If I wanna wear my glasses today, because I don't know camouflage this under here. But you know what? People don't really pay that much attention to what I think are things that don't look right. You know, I've heard, you know, the past few days, oh my gosh, I love your eyeliner. Oh, I love that you put this color on your lower lash line. Your eyeshadow look is so pretty. So, I, and I know I say it to you guys, you know, some of you may be your own worst critic, and I believe that I am too, because this isn't, by all means, not anything like, <clears throat> and y'all seen some of my looks, and even I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me. So we are going to take it down as a brown, and we'll have used all of the gel liners we we brought with us. I keep wanting to say brung, but brung is easy bionics. It's not like a, a real word. Um, this side is starting to turn now. So we're going to take dip down as a brown. Dip down as a brown. Oh my gosh, my roommate was, um, she had said, Oh, what am I going to wear today? I said, what's your birthday suit? And she was like, it's my birthday. And I'm like, oh. So I put on that 50 Cent song. I found it real quick on my phone on YouTube. The song is your birthday by 50 Cent. And she was like, <laughs> I had forgot about that song. And she was in here grooving. And then I'm like, I need to start this video. <laughs> Another thing I wish I had done was bring this down to a point, that black shade right there. But again, we're going to leave it. And I'm comparing it to this side. That's why I noticed this side tapers and this side doesn't. And I could maybe put some more of the that first lid shade there, but let's just keep going. I'm trying to tilt this mirror down here in the darkness. I really like this brush. I decided I'm going to keep not all eight of them. I have someone in mind to see if they want it. Talk about the Esom. This came out thicker than I wanted after I even said how much I love this brush. Look how thick this line is over here compared to over here. So the brushes I'm talking about are these Eason brushes. Because it does come in handy cleaning up like the little the corners and stuff like that. And then I gotta make this one thicker because the other side is thicker. Um, so I have someone in mind. I sent them liner brushes before. They do a lot of graphic liner looks, a lot of very artistic um, looks. And so I'm going to message her and see, like, is she interested or would she want more? And they dry quick when you wash them, so it's not an issue of needing them. Um, but just to have, especially if they are going to be used, because I'm not going to use all eight of them. And... Uh, the first few I purchased, it's been a while. It's been years and years and years. And so those those are quality brushes that are going to last. And even though this is a black and um, a purple under here, the brown is blending in to our area over here. I don't even know what I'm saying. I can't see it over here. I know I just put a line in there, but where is it? So I can go to the tip and bring it back in. Is there a line in there? <laughs> you know what? I see it up here. Down here, I don't see the brown, but up here I see it, and there's a gap right here. This is so crazy. Down here, I can't see the brown. Up here, I can, and it does look like it comes to a point. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. So we're going to put that away. We're going to... We're going to do the face. Do I need to set the face? Yeah, let's set the face. I'm... I want to put 
more foundation under here but if it's going to keep tearing which it, it doesn't feel like it's going to stop anytime soon it's not going to matter so we're just going to leave it we're just going to leave it um someone has said your makeup is so pretty they're like i ain't wearing none she's like i'm too tired these long days i'm like girl i hear you i hear you when i was a student before for this academy I didn't wear makeup either. And it was because the days are so long, you want to get as much sleep as possible. And that's part of why I say this feels a little crazy because I can sleep another 30 minutes or have another 30 minutes to sleep or 40 minutes if I didn't do my makeup. Because as I said, I woke up at 525 and by five minutes after six, I was sitting here. So what's that? 30 minutes and we leave the room at 7.20 to be down at breakfast at 7.30 so I could get up, I could have got up at like 6.45 you know but no because I want to hang out with my trolls it's, it is so leaky and that's okay we're going to do the Eason thing to use, to use it again to use it a second time since we brought it with us so we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and so we're going down the line. Now we're going to take this shade, put that here. I thought I miscounted, because I'm like, wait a minute, this is the last blush? And then I was like, oh yeah, because I did two looks on the 8th, then the ninth, and then the 10th, and that's 5. So I'm just like, wow. So I'm looking in my bags like, um, something missing? Because as I use the makeup, I've been putting it away to make sure... Um, like I don't use it twice. And so I'm like, I'm down to <laughs> one more chapstick. <laughs> so it is exciting. Um, being this consistent, even under the circumstances and doing these looks and using what I, I brought with me and then pairing the palettes. And so it is exciting and I'm glad that I'm doing it. <sighs> so that is that for the Eason palette. Put that back there because I need to take a picture. Uh, yeah, this desk area is looking kind of crazy. So we're going to take House Labs bronzer. And we're going to put this on. I am not bored at all using the same bronzer and the same blush and the same highlighter every day. It will be. And you know what I think as far as the bronzer, I mean the blushes, is because there's five different ones. And to pick them at random, just being like, okay, hope this goes with the look. Everything, everything's been going. So our last blush to use is Palmelo, excuse me, Palmelo Heat. That's what this looks like. It's all been working. And so even when it's like, okay, I'm going to use this blush with this look, even though I've been picking them at random this weekend, they've all worked with the looks that I did it with. And so what I realize is, is that it doesn't really matter. Looks like there's a gap right there, and I think it's the lighting. Like right here, it looks like there was a gap. No, it wasn't the lighting because now it's gone. I didn't tap off this time. I just love these formulas. The, the, these, having these, the five blushes from House Labs, I feel like it rounds out my blush collection. And I'm saying that because I have the three. There's a gap right there. The three hourglass palettes. And those blushes are basic. And I remember saying in a video before, if you want different colors, if you want variety, House Labs, I think, is the way to go because they have, you know, the different shades. Whereas with hourglass, it's just basic. You're going to get what you're going to get, a nice soft wash of color. And granted, it's beautiful. Um, but it's not... I don't want to say anything revolutionary because the formula is revolutionary, I think. But the, as far as the colors, it's just going to be basic. And so I am really glad to take another brush that had um, Fashion Fair. So just, you know, having those options. If I want to just be subdued, if I want something I can't mess up on, that would be the Hourglass uh, face palettes. This is Radiant Light. If, I think it wanted to, I think it stopped. 
And I think the eyeshadow under here helps it not look like it's so bald as far as not having <laughs> foundation under there. And this will give it a little bit of radiance, this right here. And so, yeah, we're not going to, well, the time has come and passed to add anything under there. But I'm really okay with not having added anything under there. My face to me was looking, I don't want to say shiny, and I, I was going to say I think that milk spray um, gives me a sheen, which it does, but I'm realizing that it's not an oily looking sheen, and it's a me thing where sometimes I'm just like, nah, like that's making me look greasy or whatever, but it really wasn't. So we're going to spray the face with the milk again. Ooh, ooh, child. <sighs> so since we did that, right now we're gonna do our lashes. You coming out? Almost. You wanna be in my video? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> before and after shot. Before and after Just shot. Like this before. <laughs> Joy here. She said we're gonna do a before and after shot, just like before. Meaning she might not come out and be in the video. But she is funny, y'all. Oh, oh, she just got thought she was coming out. I just teased you. Oh, she teased me. She came out and was like, and went back in. <sighs> Some of these people, I tell you. And and she said she was going to make faces behind my head in the video. And I'm like, she can do that. I was kind of looking forward to it, but anyway, <laughs> add to the craziness of the channel. Who is this person? Oh, here she is. This is after all this beauty. Look at all this loveliness. And this is before. <laughs> yeah, she fits right in with the crazy tornation <laughs> theme because I don't know what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my roommate. <laughs> Thank you, Rumi. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> that was funny. Um, so what else we have to do? We want to line the lips, um, Nima Tang. And we've used all of our lipsticks that we brought with us. So I'm just going to put um, Bronze Venus on. And yesterday with eating and everything. Oh, shoot. Oh, here it is. I did end up, I did refresh. Uh, was it the deep purple I wore yesterday? I did refresh that because like this inside this area was was wearing off after I had ate. So I did refresh it and it was fine. And then another time I went back and refreshed the lip line down here. And then after that, I just wiped it off and, and put Bronze Venus on. Um, so we're just going to put that on today. <coughs> Chocolate chip, Nima Tang, Dose of Colors lip liner. So we're going to do this. I'm just surprising myself. Excuse me. <laughs> that I'm really doing these videos in like 40 minutes. And when I'm home, even with editing and not doing the whole face, it's still like 40 minutes. So I need to figure that out. And I think that's because everything is right here. And so there's no options. Like, oh, maybe I should do this. What should I do with that? Like what I pulled out to use, that's what it is. This line is not the way I want it. Now if I keep messing with it, it's gonna just get worse. So let's move over here. Hey Rumi, you know what? What? It's your birthday. Go it's show birthday. it. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> and it's really not a birthday. <laughs> Being, being close up like this, I'm just seeing how jacked up this looks under my eye. But when I turn, it's a glow. But when it's I look straight, I see this, um... It's your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. Go, shorty. It's your birthday. Go, mommy. It's your birthday. We're going to fill in the lips. Thank you for coming to our party this morning. Happy birthday. This is why we get along. Like, we have the same <laughs> sense of humor. 
<laughs> and we also have really deep like conversations too. So it's like a perfect mix of fun and seriousness. And we confide in each other. You know, share our little secrets and our innermost thoughts and help each other out if one of us is struggling. And I, I love that. And I know I said before, like, my circle is really small. And those are the types of people that are in my circle. Like, we just appreciate each other for who we are. And we laugh with each other, joke with each other. One of us is struggling. You know, we help each other. One of us is off. We call each other out. <laughs> And I Imagine love... Imagine if they unleashed both of us on one person. Oh. That'd be fun. That would be fun. It'd be fun. I was going to say that'd be effed up, but like... It'd be effed up. It'd be it, fun. It, it would be helpful to the person. <laughs> After they got over feeling offended and their feelings hurt, they would be like, you know what? They were right. I need to get my stuff together. And, uh... It came out from under the rock. Yeah. Yeah, she's straight to the point, too. We're like, well... But we also... Have compassion when it's needed. We don't just give it because somebody wants to have a pity party. But there are times when it's appropriate. But not for pity parties. No, not pity parties. <laughs> like, we'll help you if you're legitimately struggling. If you're doing an attention seeking behavior, no, we'll no, be no, like, no, look, no, get no, your no, shit no. together. <laughs> Let me introduce you to your shit. I like her. <laughs> We didn't use that, we're gonna put that there. So we're gonna put um, Bronze Venus on the lips. And yeah, I don't like how that looks. So like from here though, I think it's fine, but you can still see like the darkness here where there's just shadow and then just like no foundation under there. But we're gonna leave it. I like the, I was gonna say, did we do a wing? The, um, I wanna put a little bit more Club Knot over here. We're not gonna take more of it. What we're going to do, we're going to take the brush that it was on. Which brush was it on? This brush. Because this <coughs> side has more of a defined gradient. And this is just looking kind of jacked up. And you know what? I think it's the liner because I couldn't see it. So I just want to put some more of this. There's that hole in my head right here. So let me stop messing with it. Because unless I put shadow in it, like put more on the brush and tap it in, it's not going to fix I'm not liking how this looks right here, but you know what? They're saying you're doing your shadow work. That's okay. Y'all got a hole in my head. <laughs> there's a there's an indentation in my skin where if I tap shadow directly in it, it goes in, but then when I blend it, it looks like there's a hole. And so, and I forget about it until I do it. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, mm. So I am gonna take a little bit of club note because that's kind of bothering me. So I just tap them very lightly we're gonna just put it so you see how that filled that in like that quick that easy but if I were to blend it it would be a hole again I see it no you don't because I fixed it you know what smack me aren't you no but I might throw something at you <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm gonna drink one of my, my banana ones. Oh, this is cafe latte I don't like anything coffee flavored hashtag she tried it so we're gonna put the bronze Venus on it and this video will be over. I gotta do uh I like that I like how that turned kind of purplish. That's this shade. Because it plays off of the purple on the lower lash line. We're gonna dip in again. Wait it, maybe not. Cause sometimes if I put too much gloss on it feels thick and I don't like that feeling. And we're about to go to breakfast, so <laughs> this is coming off anyway to some extent. So I will have this in my pocket and I will have the lip liner in my pocket. But I'm going to put those there for a picture right now and along with the other stuff that we use. And this is the um, I can do that later. So this is the look. Let me hold up both of these palettes, try and do my little screenshot, my little double duty stuff that I've been doing lately. So we use four shadows from Bowling Underground and we use two from girl, get it together Natasha Denona's palette and so these 
what they look like. That's the screenshot. I hope that came out okay. Get the glares off. Get the glares off. Okay, that's done. Thank you for being with me. And I probably won't do that at home. I don't know. Because sometimes at the end of the video, after I post the pictures, then I do the screenshot. And every now and then I forget. And then I got to do the video, do that clip over again to add it in. But anyway, let me know what you think about this look. Um, I like it. Thank you. She's biased. But I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I like that we took the brown. I mean, not the brown. Um, that we added more to round this off. Because this side was straight. And this side was round, so I do like that. I like the gradient and gradient and color. I like that we did put this up top and also putting snurt there and going back with the brush that had this on it and just blending that down. So I am really liking it because just with th this shade all the way up, even though we had the black in the middle, it was kind of for me. It was kind of like, mm. but so I am really digging it, and yeah, I'm digging it. So for me, this is like. A light messy grunge with a little bit of punk and for me the punk part would be you know having this dark line up here across my transition area my upper transition area and I'm, I like it with the lip I do really like green and purples together and I've done quite a few I'm dabbling I'm gonna go thank you for being here if you're new thank you for being here um, if you made it this far thumbs up the video if you're not subscribed and you're watching it go ahead and subscribe and there's a lot of information down below and we're going to go. So as always, self-acceptance, self-love. That is the Crazy Troll Nation way. Thank you and you will see me soon.